What's up everybody, Nagamaki Jeremy here with Nagamaki Shears. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at two visitors to the salon or barbershop that aren't paying customers, sales reps or sharpeners. Let's get into it. Now before we start, any of the scissors and shears you see here on this channel are available through our website at nagamakishears.com, fast and easy fulfillment with more financing options than any other scissor company. Also while you're there, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. That's where we give out all kinds of new information, pre-releases, and also our discount code. So if you're ever looking for a discount code, sign up for our newsletter, it's the only place we give them out. And also make sure and give us a follow on Instagram at nagamakishears for all the latest photos and updates and some really cool behind the scenes factory footage from our factory in Japan. So jumping right in, we've all been there. It's in the middle of a busy day. You're cutting hair, the door opens, and in walks one of two people, a scissor sharpener or a sales rep. Now, depending on your relationship with either one, you're either going to be super annoyed or super relieved. In today's video, we're going to break down the differences between the two, and then at the end, compare the good, the bad, and the ugly, and which one we feel provides more value. So the first type of person we're gonna be taking a look at is the sales rep. And there's a lot to be said about the expertise is in the name. If you break it down, they are a representative of sales for the company that they work for. So a lot is to be said just generally about the two titles. A sales rep is going to be there to offer solutions to your problems, but through sales only. So if you have any kind of issue with anything you're gonna need this person's help with, their main objective is to offer those solutions buy more sales. Another thing to consider while also talking to a sales rep is that they're going to have limited knowledge over the overall craft of cosmetology, barbering, and haircutting. And this often leads to an overcompensation and offering things like freebies, free education, free classes, all kinds of bells and whistles and incentives because at the end of the day, they're limited in their knowledge of what they know about the craft what they can offer you, and so again, they tend to overcompensate with freebies. Another key point about a sales rep also is they are a true middleman in every sense of the word. They can offer you things like, hey, would you like me to send your scissors off to be sharpened? Hey, would you like to put in an order for a new scissor? And if you really think about these things, what they're offering you is the convenience of them being there. Those are two things that we as hairstylists can do ourselves. We can buy new scissors online and make the orders ourselves, send them off for sharpening, repairs. So just understanding that with a middleman comes the price of having to pay a middleman. And so lastly, it's worth considering that when dealing with a sales rep, that they are easily replaced and that the turnover rate is really high. So it's something to keep in mind of if you really like one, investing heavily into that relationship, just know that those relationships are gonna be short-lived because of the high turnover rate. And so the next type of individual that will walk into the shop or salon is going to be the sharpener. And again, a lot is to be said about the expertise in the name. A sharpener is there to do just that. Sharpen your tools, repair your tools, take care of your tools. The main difference here is gonna be that they are going to offer solutions through their expertise and knowledge and not directly through sales. Even though most sharpeners can help you in buying a new scissor or can offer you a new scissor to buy as well. Also, it's very important to understand that when dealing with a sharpener, they are gonna have far more in-depth training and knowledge over the overall craft of cosmetology and barbering and also over the actual tools that they're gonna be servicing. They spend many hours training to become sharpeners and many hours in continual education to become and stay the best sharpeners that they can be. And in final consideration in dealing with a sharpener, it's also great to know that they are ultimately responsible for either the sale or the service that they're providing you which is great. So if you have any issues with your sharpening or service or the sale of a scissor, you deal directly with them without having to jump through any hoops or dealing with any middlemen. And typically you find the relationship is lasting longer with a sharpener than with a sales rep because of this investment. So in conclusion, we're gonna take a look at comparing the two and then you can make up your own opinion on which one holds more value to what you're looking for. Starting with the sales rep, the sales rep is there and they are going to be able to offer solutions through sales and sales only, as opposed to the sharpener is there to offer you solutions through their service and expertise in which they can provide. And in closing, the sales rep is a middleman in every sense of the way. They can provide you either sales or sharpening, but they don't do either one of them themselves. And so ultimately they're not responsible 
which tends to live to shorter lived relationships and a higher turnover rate of these types of individuals. As opposed to the sharpener, he is there and heavily invested in the equipment that he's purchased, the training that he's received, and providing you the very best service and sales that he can. And ultimately, he's responsible for these things. So you always have somebody to directly talk to about your problems, which tends to lead to a longer, better lasting relationship in the end. So in conclusion, you can make up your own opinion of which one brings more value than the other, the good, the bad, and the ugly. However, my personal opinion is that a really good sharpener will beat a really good sales rep any day of the week just because of what they offer. They offer a little bit more value, they're a little more heavily invested into their actual trade, and they're, they tend to be there for a longer period of time as well. So that's my opinion, but we'd love to know yours. If you disagree, leave the comments down below and let us know why. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you in the next one.